This is Super Yacht News with e Sisman. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so we've got some breaking news here, and that is that we have a confirmed location on the missing Moti Yacht Nord. As you know, Moti Yacht Nord had uh, vanished uh, in the Indian Ocean. The vessel had been to Hong Kong, and as it left Hong Kong, it had placed South Africa, Cape Town and South Africa, as its destination in its AIS. Now, we reported on the vessel heading to South Africa in a video, and as a result, well, whether or not it was as a result of our video or not, I don't know, but the, um, the South African government started to have a conversation. The, the mayor of uh, Cape Town and the premier of the province both uh, said publicly that they, they felt that the vessel should not go to South Africa, should not be allowed to dock there. They were, however, overruled by the president of South Africa, who said that they were allowed to dock, that vessel was allowed to dock. They welcomed the vessel there. However, uh, as the vessel came out of the Malacca Straits and turned west to head down to, uh, it appeared to be heading to cross the Indian Ocean to go to South Africa, they turned off the AIS and they disappeared. So we had a source. In the meantime, we had a source uh, that contacted us and told us that the, the uh, Victorian Alfred Marina, yes, Alfred Marina, had um, said that they were going to uh, deny permission for that vessel to dock because they felt it was a security issue. However, a few days later, the marina released a statement that said that, that they had not been contacted by the vessel asking for permission to dock there. The yacht switched off to AIS on the 26th of October. The estimated time of arrival for Cape Town was the 9th of November. There was even an article posted in the South African with the title, Russian Billionaire's Yacht Arrives in South Africa Today, What Happens Now? And that was posted on Wednesday the 9th of November when the vessel was due to arrive. Obviously the vessel never, never arrived there. Now on the 1st of November, we were contacted by multiple people who said that they'd seen the vessel in the Maldives at the Adu Atoll. Um, however, unfortunately, they didn't have any photographs or any videos, we, so we were never able to independently verify that until today. So um, the vessel was spotted in the Maldives, as we suspected it was already there. Um, the yacht was spotted by one of our amazing subscribers who was on a flight from one of the islands. I believe it was, I believe the island is called Mau Fushi, and they were heading to Male to, to, uh, to get a flight out of the country. They spotted the vessel, as you can see in the photos. The person even took um, a short video, so you can see that the vessel is there. Now, we verified these photos and videos because the, the aircraft the person was on, uh, you can see the details in this photograph here. Its registration is 8, 8 Quebec dash Mike Bravo Golf, and it's a de Havilland Twin Otter, which belongs to the Trans Maldivian Airways. And it's effectively an island hopper. When you travel around the Maldives, that's, that's basically how you get from one island to another. Um, we verified the timestamps on the photos as well. So as of today, that we know 100% that that yacht is in that area. Uh, as we said, the vessel was underway, however slowly, but it's most likely just going from one island to another, but we have no way to confirm that. If you are a news organization and you are watching this video, I know you watch, if you're going to use the information from this video, please be sure to credit us. So it's a Super Yacht News from eSysman Super Yachts if you're going to credit us. Uh, be sure to uh, expect to see this information in plenty of uh, websites uh, in the next 24 hours. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Just a quick breaking news video. Uh, be sure to check out our latest feature, the five largest and most expensive yachts uh, currently seized in the world. Uh, I'll put a link up here. Uh, also, check out our Patreon page and uh, yeah, and check out our other channel, Three Minutes of Maritime. All right, I'm going to leave it there. If you've got any information about this story or any other stories, please get in touch through the normal methods. You can get us on the About page of the YouTube channel. You can get us on Instagram, on Facebook Messenger, and you can also get us on Threema. Be sure to uh, like this video, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell for future notifications. All right, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.